Hey there Capricorn, it's time for your weekly horoscope for the coming seven days. And just a quick reminder for everybody out there, should you ever wish to get a session with me, you do need to go on ahead to my website, it's integrativemysticism.com, or you can also simply follow those links down below. I've got a sale going on right now, but it is the last week of the sale, 20% off all services, including gift certificates. If you would prefer to get a gift certificate now and then use it after the sale's over, I'm cool with that, but you gotta get on it. Also, I'm accepting tips and donations at this time, and if you are ever interested in signing up uh, for my Patreon and attending a live with me, uh, Tuesdays at 4 p.m. Pacific Time, U.S. and Canada, I do live presentations of my, of my uh, incoming wave findings, and then we do a chat, Q&A, all kinds of fun stuff. You can ask questions about Ascension, ask questions about this incoming wave or previous incoming waves. Whatever you want to talk about, we can totally go in on. So again, it's only a dollar per month uh, for access to that in the bi-weeklies. Might be something you want to try. So what's going on when it comes to this coming week? This coming week is overlit by the moon, upright. It's all about discernment, discernment in regards to illusions, discernment in particular regarding things that you veil about yourself, as well as maybe what illusions or projections other people have placed on things that limit your options that you give yourself. And so that's where we are, okay? Because the moon card upright, as far as your spiritual theme is concerned, the overlight of all experiences going on here, is that we have to start looking at things in a completely different light, yes, but also at the same time, looking at things for the, the entirety of their being, trying to examine things for their entirety versus trusting one side of it or trusting one story or paying attention to maybe, uh, again, what other people's experiences or projections of thought are onto it. Because with the moon card upright, there does seem to be a, a need to see where maybe other people have been wrong about what they're projecting their thoughts, opinions on, uh, especially when it comes to opportunities that you may be looking at. And I'm also seeing here that a lot of opportunities are coming your way that are going to defy your expectations, but also are things that are going to require you to dissolve some illusions that you hold about yourself or secret identities that you keep others away from <laughs> or away with rather. And so it's a, an important week for the Capricorn people to start getting things back to a place of wholesome, uh, you know, truth and coherence across all things. You know, if you've been dividing your identity among different groups, it's time to come back to a place of complete self-realization here because the moon card upright is saying that which is presenting its entire light is going to get the attention that it's looking for. But also at the same time, be careful about judging things based on other people's past experience with it or what other people think they know about certain things because you're going to see that Maybe they just weren't cut out for it. It wasn't a match for them. But don't let something that wasn't a match for somebody else say it's not a match for you. In fact, as we get on to your material concerns, we have the Three of Pentacles upright. And there does seem to be some kind of initiation going on when it comes to uh, a new opportunity for you to really uh, start cutting your teeth in a new line of work or working with uh, either a new team, something that's going to be a lot more on your level, right? We're doing the vibration buddy system. So everyone's getting their, their current situation kind of busted up so they can be with people that are on their level equal you know and truly equal or maybe uh equivalent this is where we are starting to see a lot of you capricorn people get chances to start working with groups or on projects or maybe even in financial projects that start to be uh, quite lucrative, but also at the same time quite fulfilling uh, because of the Three of Pentacles were being brought in to join a new initiative, join a new team. And there is going to be an opportunity for advancement within this as well. As far as uh, the, the, uh, the, the cold hard cash is concerned, the Three of Pentacles upright is indicating here that it will actually be a, a rather abundant week for a lot of you, but pay attention again when we talk about new teams new work opportunities new projects with that moon card upright if we are trusting to what we've seen other people not achieve or what didn't resonate with them or they weren't cut out to do or they couldn't handle or whatever their opinion is then we may miss this okay we may miss that opportunity and sometimes that can happen where we kind of get scared off or psyched out based on what we've seen other people go through, uh, what other people might think of something or what other people think they can or can't do or whatever they effed up. It doesn't mean that you're going to F up yourself. 
And so this is a week where with the Three of Pentacles, it's time to entertain an opportunity to be kind of lifted up and out of a situation. And with the Moon card upright, it may even defy your own opinion of it. It may invalidate you in a good way. Because sometimes things that invalidate us are true. And some things that invalidate us also dispel things that are really just toxic beliefs. In fact, you may actually find you are pleasantly surprised this week if you start to entertain things that are not on the road you set out on at the beginning of the week. As we get on to your uh, community card, friends and relatives, other people in your life, we have the Ace of Wands upright. There is a there's an acceleration happening here when it comes to either uh, a project or an initiative that a, that a friend or a relative is currently working on. Uh, this could be something, uh, yeah, this could be something that could yield some financial gain as well. I am seeing there's kind of a mix of art and business or art and spirituality in here. And with the Ace of Wands upright, it is really picking up a lot of traction. They are really kind of stepping into uh, their power. And this is prompting you to pay attention to where you are getting a chance to join them or start working with them as they're picking up that traction. The Ace of Wands Upright can be an invitation to join. This might actually be something even going on as sort of a link between the um, the, the, Ace of, the Ace of Wands and the Three of Pentacles Upright, kind of fostering a bit more camaraderie, stepping into a, you know, a, a bigger, stronger circle. The Ace of Wands Upright is indicating, though, even things that you have been trying to get started on or things that you've been working on behind the scenes, whether it's something with your own creative path, your own spiritual path, your own professional path, are also starting to pick up traction faster than you estimated. It's defying, again, your expectations, your beliefs, as well as what may have been projected on it by others, which is always, of course, a very positive thing to see happen as well, because when it's picking up traction and it's accelerating its growth, there may be a call to action coming before we thought we needed to do a call to action. There may be even a door opening up before we thought a door could open up, or a way to step into actually integrating this into our regular life before we thought we had to make room for it. As we get on to your challenge this week with um, you know, your lessons that may present as challenges, we have the Five of Pentacles upright. And this is a week where you have to pay attention to that visibility, Capricorn. If you've been kind of hiding out, if you've been in a cave, you gotta be careful because remember the moon card upright is also indicating being seen for your whole self, your full complete self-realized self is crucial for a lot of these really cool energies to really take place because the five of pentacles upright is indicating we may not necessarily be seeing a lot of options around us at this time. If you look at the image, if you can see the image, you know, we have this person walking through the snow and yeah, they're out in the cold, they're kind of desolate. I am seeing we might find some uh, fixtures in our life are going away, uh, things that maybe gave us context or a sense of security or a, a sense of constancy in our life may be crumbling during this time to make room for some of this awesome that's coming in. But with the Five of Pentacles, you have to make sure that we are not so tunnel visioned, right? The problem with the person in the Five of Pentacles is that they do have tunnel vision. All they needed to do is look to their left and they would actually see the building <laughs> where all of this cool new stuff is actually occurring and can actually be provided for them. But if they're too preoccupied by their journey, if they're too blinded by their own disappointment and heartache, if they're too caught up in looking at their shoes or staring straight ahead and not looking around them, they might miss something. Or if they're judging what's going on based on external appearances, they might miss out on something as well. So how do we fill the void that's left when that fixture disappears? We allow something to actually come in that's already beckoning to us, but we might not be uh, looking at because we might not be letting ourselves be mentally or emotionally available to it. We should. That's your challenge. As we get on to your uh, relationships with love and romance and partnerships, we actually have the Four of Wands upright. And for those of you looking for a new partner, those of you looking for a new relationship, uh, we actually see a breakthrough here where with the Four of Wands upright, there's always the crossing of a threshold, which is why I love this card with, you know, the guy walking to the girl across the portal. And with the Four of Wands, it does look like um, something is actually, again, defying your expectations or preconceptions about itself. 
Now, this could actually be a new love opportunity coming either uh, during an activity, in an environment, or even from a person that maybe we did not necessarily um, expect this from. With the Four of Wands upright, sometimes we find out that, you know, there's a breakthrough here. Somebody is actually uh, in a better space than we thought. But also at the same time, they resonate with the true us on the inside, not the person that we're projecting on the outside. And so it's kind of an interesting test when it comes to love. This person resonates with who you don't share with the rest of the world. But in order to actually enjoy this person's company, you're going to have to integrate your alter egos here. So that way, this person would stick around. And when you go through this, you're going to find that there is actually a very strong relationship potential here. As we step on to your existing partnerships, right, for you Capricorns who are in existing relationships, we have the Four of Wands representing a partner and you actually having a breakthrough with something that we didn't even know was good for us. <laughs> with, again, talking about defying expectations and projections, the ten of sorry the ten the four of wands upright is showing here um, that you and a partner are getting a chance to actually uh, to kind of start a brand new chapter by doing something different in our relationship or maybe doing it somewhere different that maybe we we didn't we were kind of afraid to do we were afraid to kind of take that step or we were afraid to integrate it or make that jump. But the second we actually start doing it, we're starting to see breakthroughs pop up all over. Partners are having wonderful breakthroughs when it comes to their material wealth, their social life, and so are you. And it's a time for a lot of us to kind of start dropping, again, what we've been protecting ourselves from, because this could be a chance for you and a partner to also find that things that we weren't even crazy about in the first place that we've been doing together in the last, you know, a little while are starting to mature into things that are actually providing us more fulfillment and more emotional satisfaction than we let them in the beginning. So a really cool uh, kind of test for you Capricorns. All right, so what's going on here? Um, oh wait, what's going on here? Uh, I guess we're all out of cards. So that's it. Da -da 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 -da. That's it for you Capricorn people. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session, go to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.